Have you ever been unseen by a woman you admire? Women enjoy to ignore men, leaving them confused and hurt, wondering what they've done wrong. But what if I told you, you can turn the tables and use that rejection to your advantage? You see, women ignore men based on calculations. Once they calculate and perceive you as less valuable, you're essentially invisible to them, and they'll seek out someone superior. The key is to prove those calculations wrong, and once she realizes her math was off, you crush her ego. By undermining her confidence, you can make her come back to you, craving your attention. We will go over six things that make her regret ignoring you. Number one, act like she doesn't exist. When a woman overlooks you, just behave as if she's not even there. People around you might say that you should ask her what is going on, or if she is in need of talking. They will tell you to be extra kind to her. It's all garbage and it doesn't work. Don't ever ask why she is ignoring you. You're already on the lower rungs in her perception, and clamoring for her attention will just paint you as a desperate man lacking self-respect. I'm probably the only one that will say this, but when a woman ignores you, she has actively disrespected your existence. And the last thing you should ever do is grovel back to her like some whipped pup. Acting needy is a surefire way to snuff out any attraction she had for you. Instead, simply act like she does not exist. But the key here is to not force it or get mad. You're not some childish girl playing stupid games. Be very nonchalant about how you ignore her back and go about your business. This lets her know you don't put her on a pedestal, and you have better things to do than to simp for her. Number two, don't react emotionally. She may ignore you because she has lost interest in you, but she can also ignore you to test your character. Whatever her reason is, you must remain stoic and unfazed. You're the one who can grant weight to her silence, but just as easily strip it of any significance. Number three, as a man, you should be on the grind whether a woman ignores you or not, always aiming to become exceptional. But when a woman ignores you, it's even more reason to put your head down and work, because the reality of the matter is, she would not have ignored a better version of you. So keep improving, physically, mentally, but also financially. You see, she expects a low-tier man to chase her and to keep sending her messages. But if he doesn't seem to care about her at all, she will question her own decision, and even more so if he actually makes good money. So make sure to expand your finances. Videos on the best ways to make money online will be made soon. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you don't miss out. Number four, you're boring. There's a saying, girls just like to have fun. And it's true. Girls ignore boring guys all the time. Don't misunderstand me. Pushing yourself to be the best you can be is crucial, but it's no excuse to be a boring rat, and neither is being an introvert. You see, no matter the money you make, how strong you are, and how successful you are in your endeavors. If you can't make her laugh or do fun things together, you are simply not interesting. That's why she might bypass you and choose some fat dude who knows how to let loose. Sure, you may be in better shape than him, and you may earn more money than him too, but are you fun to be around? Listen, being an exciting man is a skill, and I would say most guys do possess this skill to some extent. It's mostly the guys that are strictly on self-improvement or making money that fail to recognize the importance of being interesting. Don't let self-improvement turn you into a dork. Number five, you gave her too much power. Girls will always test guys to see how much she can get away with and see how much power she can gain over him. For example, she might throw tantrums, treat him badly, be less affectionate, ignore him, tease him, demand that he do things for her, etc. If you put up with the bad treatment because you're afraid of losing her, the power will gradually shift to her, and she will lose respect for you. That is not the position you'll ever want to be in with a woman. The stance you should aim for, and that women genuinely desire, is where you cherish and esteem her, yet you retain the upper hand. To achieve that, you need to maintain belief in yourself, and understand the power dynamics between a man and a woman. If she gets out of line, you need to let her know that you are disappointed in her, and expect better from her from now on. When you speak to her, be laid back and jovial, but also ensure you come across as firm and decisive. If she continues to make the same types of mistakes, it should be you that stops giving her attention. That's truly what women expect a man to do. 
A woman hates it when a man puts up with her bad behavior because he is afraid of losing her. A man without a purpose will make trivial things around him big. He will worry about irrelevant things and worry about meaningless garbage. But a man with a purpose remains unshakable when a woman ignores him. He doesn't have time to waste on worrying about what another human is doing, male or female. When your goals have priority over a woman, this will not only humble her, it will also shatter her pride, making her act of ignoring you instantly lose its weight. In fact, anything she does will not affect you anymore, so get on your purpose. Now, if you don't know what your purpose is yet, that's understandable. I'll guide you on discovering your purpose. I'm going a little bit off topic here, but this is very important. I saved this for the last part of the video, so all the short attention span people have left by now. Listen, in order to find your purpose, you must remove all distractions in your life and be alone with your thoughts. Consider what truly matters to you and what you aim to accomplish. It could be anything. Think of becoming rich, becoming a UFC champion, mastering a skill, or impacting people. The possibilities are endless, and you need to think about what your deep desire is. Once you figure that out, it's time to test the validity of it. You need to find out if that desire is real. You see, most goals that pop up are not real. Those are not your purpose. They are merely goals, dreams, and desires that someone else has told you about. In order to test if your purpose is real, you should ask why. For example, let's say your purpose is to become a multimillionaire. The first question should be why. Your answer may be because you want freedom. Follow up with another why. Someone with a real purpose, a real deep desire can keep doing this at least 10 times. He can keep digging deeper and deeper with the question why and has an answer to every one of those whys. But someone that merely saw his dream life on social media or heard it from someone else will not be able to keep answering the whys. With this exercise, you will quickly find out if it's a real burning desire or not. So test it. Keep asking yourself why you want something at least 10 times and see if you're able to keep having answers. This is how you discover what your true purpose is. By the way, if you're looking to elevate your game, show some support by smashing that like and subscribe button. Until next time.